So Big Spike Spiegel and Electric get the fix hit on Vincent. He's on this train, so they finna go pull up on bro and blast his brains out. But nothing's ever easy for Spike Spiegel, so he gotta do mad parkour just to get on the train. I'm talking about bro had to run, jump off some stairs just to jump on the train. And while the train was going fast as hell, he had to clamber down and shoot at the window just to get inside. And once he does, it's frame one on site with Vincent. He pulls the blick out and he's like, hey bro, don't even move or I'm blasting your brains out, big dog. The train goes through a tunnel and as soon as it exits out of it, Vincent ups on Spike and starts letting the yopper spray. Spike gets behind cover and then Vincent just casually walks to the other train. And I find this a little odd, but everybody in the other train, did they not just hear 13 gunshots get fired out from the other train? Why are they still chilling in this train car? Big bro right here reading the newspaper was closest to the other train car. You're telling me he did not hear none of that going on? And also, why is nobody suspicious of the big ass tall man in trench coat on the train? Because bro reading the newspaper saw Vincent walk by and he was like, the hell this dude got that fit on? Is he the Undertaker or something? Vincent don't like being called the Undertaker, so he boomed, bro, right in the noggin. But after Newspaper Man got boomed, everybody on that train car started dipping. And now Spike and Vincent are stuck in a Mexican standoff. Vincent calls Spike a pussy, and then Electric comes into the train car, and he shoots her right in the arm. But after that, Spike and Vincent started shooting at each other. They ran out of bullets, and then Spike started running all the train seats, and then he kicked a mess out of Vincent. Spike then punched with this nasty ass four piece combo. Spike sets him down right, left, body, right hook. Then he went to the body, and then Spike just starts beating the brakes off of Vincent on his seat. I'm talking about bros giving out CTE like how Quagmire be giving out STDs. And then he pulls his ass off the seat, hits him with a right hand, right. kicks his ass right in the face, having his head bounce off the seat, dropping his ass. And if my head bounced off a metal goddamn seat like that, I don't care if I didn't feel it, I'm throwing it in the towel, cause that's crazy. I know bro's brain was doing a fustal shuffle in his head, but Spike walks over to Vincent's body, he hems his ass up, but Vincent got the grippiest hands in the West, as he just grips Spike's sternum, piercing and squeezing it, with just his bare hands by the way. Then his ass starts turning while he's inside Spike's guts, and I don't know why he was in Spike's guts when Electra right there. I'm talking about you was in there, big dog. You see Electra, what you need anybody else for? But Spike falls to the ground. Vincent gets up, and then Vincent strong ass grips Spike up by the neck, starts dragging his ass to the window, slams his ass through the window. Now Spike's hanging out the train window for dear life. And then Vincent asks for Spike's name, and then he shoots her right in the chest, dropping his ass off the train into the ocean. But Electra was too late. Spike's reboot car ran out of time. I'm mean, there was no bring a bro back from this one. And then Vincent pulls out a grenade and the train car explodes. So Spike got healed by this short little dude. He recovered and then he's like, all right, time to get it back in blood. So he pulls up on the scuffed Eiffel Tower and bro is so ready for the smoke. He heard a gust of wind and upped on it. But out from the rafters like goddamn sting comes Vincent and Spike shoots bro two times, once in the side and then the other in the hand. But Vincent really do not care about no damn bullets. As his ass palms Spike's entire face, Spike kicks Vincent's gun out of his hand and he rolls out of the way. And while Vincent was on the ground, Spike was finna shoot the mess out bro, but yeah. Vincent kicked Spike's gun out of his hand, and now it's just regular degular hands now. And look at this cool ass nigga Spike, just getting ready in his stands, jumping up and down, he is finna start boxing like crazy. Spike threw this spinning kick at Vincent, but bro dodged mm -hmm. it, but he used that momentum and came at Vincent and hit him with this nasty ass left. And Spike hits nothing but air balls off on Vince. Spike tried to throw a right, but Vincent grabbed his arm and started piecing bro up right in that tummy. He finished off said combo with this nasty sternum check, had that man Spike drooling. Spike started stumbling, but he composed himself and hit Vincent with this nasty ass desperation palm strike. And that had Vincent stumbling, and Spike said, oh yeah, free eats. Got this nasty ass kick punch combo off on Vincent. But Vincent said, oh yeah, buddy, you're done. Hit his ass with a Mongolian chop. Started trying to piece Spike up, but he was blocking it. But then he went to the body one more time. And then Vincent knocked Spike down with this nasty ass right. Spike gets back up, but bro is getting cooked. Spike tried to get this two-piece combo off, but Vincent blocked the left, parried the right, and then kicked Spike right on the chin and paused. Look at this frame. I'm talking about pinpoint accuracy. Tip of bro's boot right on Spike's chin. Spike a better man than me because I just would have went to sleep after that, bro. But Vincent was not done because he hit Spike with this nasty right straight. Vincent then dodged the two-piece combo Spike tried to hit on him and then punished with another shot right to the sternum. 
And I know Spike's insides look like that one sandwich Gumball was trying to make. And then Vincent outs himself as a wrestling fan and hits Spike with this nasty ass Judas effect. <laughs> and bro is finna stomp Spike's head in, but bro got out the way. And then Vincent and Spike just start boxing. Spike's able to get some retaliation in. He hits Vincent with this nasty ass back fist palm strike to sternum combo. And then he punched bro right in the face. He was finna go for something else, but Vincent let him on and then hit him with this nasty ass arm drag. Knocking his ass into some cables. And Vincent was trying to kick Spike's ass off the scuffed Eiffel Tower. But Spike parried the kick and pushed his ass back. And then Spike starts going crazy. He turns into Chun Lee with the kicks. I'm talking about bro was not letting up. He is hammering CTE directly into Vince's brain with each kick being hit on Vince. Spike sweeps the leg and then kicks the mess out of bro in the face. Then he hit bro with this nasty ass right. He tried to go for the left, but Vincent weaved the punch. Put Spike's ass in a hammerlock, and then with the grippiest hands of the West, he starts squeezing Spike again. But Spike preloaded that CTE into his elbow and hit Vincent three times directly square in the noggin. But Spike stumbled and sat his tired ass down. And then Vincent said, All right, well, now that you're a kind of, you know, now you're sleepy, bro, I'm finna continue on my terrorism plot. And Spike's like, I don't even care for real, bro. I just came here to run my ones again. But after that, Spike got up and these two started circling each other. And then they started boxing. Vincent blocked the right, but he didn't block the left. And then he got hit upside the head with his nasty ass axe handle. Then these boys start going minka, minka, minka all over this scuffed Eiffel Tower. But Spike tried to kick Vincent. Vincent caught the kick, so Spike kicked him with his other leg, knocking bro back. They start going crazy a little bit, but then Spike knocked Vincent's ass down with this nasty ass spin. Hit his ass so hard they have to replay it for us. Then Spike starts tripping balls. It turns out that big ass pumpkin Vincent Pop was just a big ass perk 30. This plan was to get everybody high off of that. And while Spike is on his knees, Vincent holds bro at gunpoint, and then he starts trauma dumping. Electra pulls up, and now Vincent and Electra are at a Mexican standoff, and then Electra pulls the trigger booming bro and it turns out that vincent was just the biggest druggie of all time because after he got shot he was like wait a minute damn i remember me and you electric used to be a thing i was inside this nigga spike's guts but i could have been in yours god damn and then dies ending the fight and moral of the story is don't do drugs kids or else you'll end up like vincent but other than that man i'm gonna get up out of here if you liked like comment subscribe do the good stuff and uh yeah i'm out of here bye